what is up guys my name is kim also known as isles girl 3 we're here to talk new york islanders hockey on the kim decrees podcast oh my god what is it number 126 no 126 i believe yeah 126 my light just died and oh it just came back on the solar eclipse <laughs> Yeah, we got a solar eclipse coming tomorrow. We had an earthquake here on Long Island. I'm late. Okay, Addy, fight me. <laughs> but we are getting into some Islanders hockey. Oh my god, they've come through a four-game winning streak. Third in the Metro. Defeated the Nashville Predators. Defeated the Blue Jackets, which we did on stream. It was This has been a nuts week. You know I will. You lost last time. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Addy actually showing to fight me here. I'm, like, getting some, like, blankets on my legs because I'm actually really, really cold. Uh, by the way, uh, if anyone can uh, find out, knows what album this is, uh, I would love you. But <laughs> just going to talk Islanders hockey. I'll talk about um, Bridgeport, um, everything going on with Bridgeport 2, Baby Isles. I'm going to throw them in there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's just been a spectacular day. I had yesterday with the, the New York Islanders, today with the Baby Isles. So it's just been, I've just been back and forth and having fun. And it, it's been fun as a New York Islanders fan for once in my life. Where is my phone? There it is. Oh my God. Because I'm going to talk about schedule and I have everything. But yeah, Washington lost today. Buffalo did not win against the Red Wings. So thanks Buffalo for nothing. <laughs> Maybe if you had Devin Levi, who I met today. So any Buffalo fans up in here, I met Devin Levi. That was really cool. He's a really funny guy. Uh, Devin Levi is so fucking chill. <laughs> like, so down to earth, really chill person. Hi, guys. Hi, Isles fan for life. What's up, Najee? Tuesday is huge, says David. Tell me about it. I'm going to be there Tuesday. I'm going to be there Tuesday. So it's going to be lit. By the way, guys, I have a surprise for you OGs in the chat. I have a surprise for you OGs in the chat. I have a surprise. You you can I you know I'm gonna wait for the thing to pop in. But. Old Farm Show, hello, nice to see you here. Welcome to the pod. Yeah, no, but I have a surprise for the OGs in the chat who know. I'm not putting back John to Discord. My God. Snapple fact of the day. I was on the ferry coming home from Bridgeport from watching the Bridgeport Islanders and they had peach Snapple and I was like, it's a Sunday night pod. We're bringing back the Snapple fact of the day. So yeah, so I knew the OG Rogers would get a kick out of bringing it back. So the end of the day is like, Snapple fact! And Addy saying not the vodka as Addy does. Oh, that tastes good. Okay. I still waiting for the Snapple sponsorship. Okay. Here we go. I sorry for the glare. I cannot read it. It was very dark. Snapple fact 1384 says the state animal of Tennessee is the raccoon. You know what? That is hilarious considering we just beat the Nashville Predators. <laughs> that is absolutely hysterical since we just beat the Nashville Predators. We just beat the raccoons, bitch. <laughs> we just beat the fucking raccoons. Snaffle voodoo. Yeah, literally. How did? Why did they pick Tennessee? That's weird. But yeah, insane game against Mash Nashville. Var. Can we just start off? Semyon Varlamov. Holy fuck! Semyon Varlamov. Played like he did when we were in the 2021 bubble. I have not seen Semyon Varlamov play that fucking OP since the 2021 bubble. That man went off yesterday. Insane saves. Positioning was beautiful. 41 save shutout. Should I repeat that? 41 save shutout. That man was on his fucking game. He was the king 
against the Nashville Predators, a team that we desperately needed to beat. I, I, if there is no doubt in my mind that Varley starts Tuesday against the Rangers. Like, there is no fucking doubt in my mind. When we needed him, he was there. He was not like the fucking Avatar, okay? Like... <laughs> But Varlamov, an insanely impressive performance. He was on his posts. He had his positioning. In his post-game interview, he did say that he felt like luck was on his side at some moments. And you know what? Maybe that's a little bit into it. But for, like, the most part of his performance, it was all him. He was on his game. He was crushing it. Semyon Varlamov, like, was just peak performance last night. Nijay, Yes. Um, should we, someone said, should we put him in net against the Rangers? I see no idea why. I see no idea why. Josh, who's a, a Nashville Predators fan in here. Good to see you. Josh Bulls says, uh, Pred scored tonight. Yes. But, uh, I don't think they won. Alexa, Devils game? The New Jersey Devils will play the Toronto Maple That's not what I want. Alexa, That's score of the Nashville Predators game. Today. The Nashville Predators beat the New Jersey Devils 3 to 2 in Oh! Oh, it went to shootout! Oh! The last I looked, it was 2 1 Devils. Wow, the Devils suck! <laughs> oh, my, my friend, um, my friend Neil was there. Oh, he's pissed. Wow! That's amazing. Good for the Nashville Predators, bro. Holy shit! There's an OG in the chat I haven't seen in for so fucking long. Ray bro! Ray bro! What is up, Ray bro? Holy shit! I haven't seen you in fucking forever, man. It's so good to see you. Hide your moms. <laughs> yo! Yo, we got a legend in the chat. Oh my god. It's so good to see you, Ray bro. Wow, the devil's son. The J just loving me. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I still had his command. I <laughs> That's amazing. So good to see you. It's been a hot minute. Tell me about it, Ray, bro. It's been a hot minute. Damn straight. So good to see you again, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's been a hot minute. My team is giving me a hot minute. Because we have a two-point cushion um, right now, but... Red Wings still hold second wild card. Um, Red Wings hold the second wild card. We have a two point cushion over third in the Metro. And it's like every team is tied. Philly is tied. Penguins are tied. Caps are tied. All at 83 points. And it's nuts. So we, we need to fucking win. Uh, Rangers, this is this is not even, it's not even funny how much this, this game is. Preds magic number is one. The Islanders magic number is nine. The Islanders' magic number is nine. Nine! <laughs> so, I just looked it up today. Uh, Islanders' magic number right now, as of right now, is nine. <sighs> Jesus Christ. The Flyers have a game on us? Really? I didn't see that. I didn't see anyone having a game on us. Do the Flyers? I'm about to find out. Okay, let's see. Flyers... We have a game on the Flyers, Jordan. Jordan, we have a game on the Flyers. The Flyers don't have a game on us. We have a game on the Flyers. They played 78 games. We played 77. So if anything, it's looking worse. Yes, so Jordan, we have less games played. That's what you meant. You fucking worded it wrong. Good job. <laughs> Correct. I love when anyone says that. I always think of the Plankton meme where he's like, Correct. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, it's that third spot is going to be a fist f it's going to be a death it's going to be a blood sport for the freaking third spot in the metro. <laughs> oh man. Ducks goal, 5-4 Blues want to clinch tonight. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just all the craziness. Um but with the Nashville Predators game, I mean, the Predators have a pretty lethal offense. I mean, Forsberg, you see him there, Nyquist. You know, you see those guys on the ice, and you're like, oh, f I And I honestly thought Anthony Beauvillier might have clinched one. Um, <laughs> but um, we were able to shut them down. We had 33 blocked shots that night. 33 blocked shots. 
insanity. And what helped as a cherry on top, we hit an empty net goal from all the way across the ice. Like, that is absolutely fucking nuts. Kyle Palmieri finally, finally just right at the net. Fourth empty net goal of the season. Back-to-back empty net goals for the same player. And guys, you ready for a stat? That has not been done. A player on the Islanders... The same player on the Islanders has not gotten a back-to-back empty net goal since Mike Bossy scored his 50 and 50. Just let that sit for a minute. An Islanders player, the same Islanders player, has not scored an empty net goal back-to-back since Mike Bossy scored his 50 and 50. Holy fuck. Speaking of which, too, we were worried about losing all of our back-to-backs. The Islanders finally won back-to-back games recently. As you guys know, we finally won our first back-to-back of the season, and that was um, against Chicago. So we won against Philly. We won against Chicago. Um, The Chicago game was our first one of the back-to-back. Now, if the Islanders had lost against Chicago... We would have lost every single back-to-back of the season. Do you guys know the last time the Islanders did not win one single back-to-back game? 1972-73 season. Our inaugural season. That was the first and last ever time the Islanders did not win one back-to-back game in the season. If we lost against Chicago... We would have said the second time in franchise history we did not win a (laughs) back-to-back. Jordan goes, (laughs) noise. I did that really well. Okay. (laughs) Look at y'all's schedule. I think the Islanders will get in. Josh, we're facing the Rangers twice this week. I'm I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not worried about that. Rangers have lethal offense. Here's the thing about the Rangers that I'm going to say the Islanders need to focus on, and Stefan Rosner puts it very, very, you know, I trust Stefan with my life. He puts it very, very nicely. The Rangers, we can't, we have to be disciplined. The Rangers, where they thrive, is power plays. Five on five, though, they crumble. We have to put them always on five on five. We always have to keep them on their toes five v five because I mean Mika Zibanejad recently just scored his first five on five goal since December. Like that's what I'm talking about with them not being as you know on it with five on five. Um, you you do score five on five, but it's not as easy as if you guys get a power play. Your power play is very lethal. But I'm saying five on five wise is where the Rangers struggle. And like, just not me. <laughs> no, but it, it has been a struggle for the Rangers. But it needs but we need to break down, we, you know, discipline. There's got to be discipline. Especially with this Nashville game, like, you got to be better. I will say there was a lot of penalties that were missed Nashville wise. But I have to go with... Uh, Al Arbor and say you have to win despite the refing and even in the most brutal of games and there's been brutal games where I've come on here and I've said guys I don't like to blame refing for games but we I felt like the universe was against us and there are some games that come out like that but Al Arbor you have to win despite the refing you have to you know uh, that shows that shows a good team Go New York Islanders, go. I like it. I like it. In Ortap, I like it. Refs. Oh, God. Damn, Shadow. Rempe gonna be a menace Tuesday? Well, I hope he meets the nux of Matt Martin. <laughs> so, <laughs> I might have told Romanov something. <laughs> um, Jordan, don't get pissed. And David, don't get pissed. But... We were talking to Romanov after the game, and we were talking about Rempe coming in Tuesday, and I might have said to Romanov, listen, Romanov, you have one of the best checks in the league. Destroy him. (laughs) Just open ice. Go for it. (laughs) 
<laughs> yo, I can Yo, the full ice brawl that would break out. I don't think it's gonna be like Devils, like where the fight's gonna break out as soon as Puck drop. That's just like a Rangers Devils tradition at this point. But it's gonna be damn interesting. <laughs> We gotta see in order to have. We gotta see. They have to get there first. That you know, it's it, it, the problem with the New York Islanders, and we talked about this too, is consistency. You don't know what team you're gonna get. You have the team that wins six in a row, the team that's winning four in a row right now, and then you also have that team that lost six in a row. You know, it's it. You don't have confidence. The main word for the Islanders is confidence. That's the word of the day. If you're gonna talk about New York Islanders hockey, it is confidence. And I think that's something that the New York Islanders do not have. I, they don't deserve to have confidence in themselves. Because you go out there and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> the Islanders are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're fucking going to get. So it's just about hoping that they, they see they're, they're more energized seeing the standings right now. They're more energized at the prospect of playoffs. And that they feed off of that. And that they have this energy and they have this thrive. And that they want it. So this is what we need. This is what we need to do is that we need to show that we we want this. And we want this badly. But now you have Patrick Waz as a Nortap. That is true and I see the Montreal. <laughs> I see the Montreal circle right there. Yes, Patrick Waugh. And I like Waugh. There's sometimes of his decisions that I kind of question, like when he split up Barzell and Horvat to even begin with, although he has put it back together, and now we're on a win streak. Hmm. <laughs> That's a coaching decision that was very, like, I'm not going to say I know more hockey than Patrick Waugh. It's not going to happen. No, 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 no. But that the coaching decision was very... Like, how do you split that up? You see something that's working, why change it? Why change it? Oh, and the J, I'm glad you're out of the hospital. Uh, Water King, good to see you in here. Says, let's go, Kim. Isles are making it right, right now. There is still five games to go. I'm not saying shit. There's still five games to go. I am not saying shit. Mm. Nothing is certain right now. Yes, we have a two-point cushion. But anything can fucking change with this team. I don't have, like I said, confidence, consistency. Those two C words are the biggest thing with the New York Islanders. Confidence and consistency. And, I, you know, I get very nervous going into this. So, um, I, I just, hopefully they bring it. But, you know, coming up this week, um, we do have Nashville. Nashville. We do have the Rangers. <laughs> Then we play Montreal, so uh, a Nortap, we're going to go at it. Um, but we have, and then we have Rangers again. It's all going to come back, one, two, three. And especially if we win the first one, the Rangers are going to want to come back with a vengeance. That's no doubt in my mind. That's this week. Rangers, Montreal, Rangers. And then we're going to play the Devils next Monday. And then our last game is next Wednesday against Pittsburgh. Next, next Wednesday, excuse me. And those are two Metro teams. That Pittsburgh game is going to be a four-point game. And that Pittsburgh game might be right or die. Who knows? Like, this is like... Ugh, it gets me so scared. <sighs> Imagine playing that Pittsburgh game and it's like, we make playoffs or we don't. That would be insane. But here's what the, the magic number right now is nine. Two, four, six, eight. We, like, basically have to win every single game coming up. We have to win, like, every single game coming up. Because this is ten points on the line. This is five games left, ten points. Oh, God. This is literally going to be a blood sport. This is going to be a battle to the death for this spot. And we have to worry about Detroit. And possibly even the Devils maybe coming back into it. You never know. So, Yeah, it also depends on the other teams. Yes, it absolutely does. Tomorrow, we are Maple Leafs fans. So let's go Maple Leafs tomorrow. That So the update for how to root tomorrow is let's go Maple Leafs. 
<laughs> as much as it pains me to say, we are Maple Leafs fans tomorrow, Islanders fans. Let's go. Tuesday. This is the day where let's go Islanders. We want Capitals and Red Wings are going at each other. Who do we want to win here? If we want to keep third spot in the Metro, I say give it to Detroit. I would say give it to Detroit then. So we can keep third spot in the Metro. You think Red Wings is safer? I disagree. I think we'd want the Red Wings to win for Metropolitan. Then we are Canadians fans that night. Go Canadians on Tuesday the 9th. We are Maple Leafs fans again. <laughs> and that's that, that will be the teams that we're rooting for that night. Caps can take two spots. From yeah, but Jordan, you were saying... Yeah, you don't say things right, Jordan. You don't text things right. Caps have been abysmal. They are riding on the coattails of Alex Ovechkin. I'm sorry, but they literally are. They are literally riding by the coattails. That is Alex Ovechkin. Be <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm wrong. New Jersey will be eliminated with a loss and Detroit win Tuesday. Hmm. Thank you for the update, David. Appreciato. McMahon has always been a goal per game. Uh, that, like I said, they are writing the coattails of Alex Ovechkin. Like, that's the only reason they're in this talk. SG, Sports Channel, Sports Talk Channel. How long have you been an Islanders fan? My whole life. Um, Charlie Lindgren's been good. You're not wrong, Ovi is them. It's kind of the same thing with the Penguins. Like, Crosby has been insane lately, too. Like, for some reason, Crosby and Ovechkin, after the All-Star break, were just like, it is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I'm so excited for Saturday NCAA what's going on Saturday welcome to hockey chaos honestly Kim read my comment please what did you say I don't even see it all this time I'm supporting Isles and hoping they make the playoffs and you're rooting for the Leafs never felt more betrayed <laughs> it's not that I want to Water King it is that I have to. <laughs> Saying Ovi was washed. Yeah, Ovi's not washed. Ovi's not fucking washed. Caps and flyers have been imploding. Uh, boo hoo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what a tragedy. <laughs> You're already in the playoffs. No one is catching. Yeah, Jordan, that's what I'm saying. Let, let other people join. We need the points. So let us in. It's like like the like fucking meme like let me in let me in. <laughs> uh, it's it's gonna be tough. Leave she cheer for them. Yeah, I have to. We need the points. Want to hear a joke? Uh, Caps actually have an opportunity to make play. Yes, what are can we know? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Is that the the only reason that they're in this conversation is literally because of Ovechkin. <laughs> Who imploded words? Caps or Flyers? I feel like the Flyers have been worse. I feel like the Caps was kind of expected. The f I mean, the Flyers were expected to be shit, but they like ex they like surprised everyone. But now they're imploding again. So I I say Flyers. Yeah, good. Keep the Flyers that way. Have Torts be pissed. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying every bit bit of it. So I literally Addy, I saw that comment. I literally read it. <laughs> Choking. Oh, Matt Wilson just said something so disgust because of Are you talking hot take hockey? Hell no. <laughs> I'm a closet fan right now because of fucking the Islanders. Islanders win three out of five in regulation and they're in. And Norcap, where are you getting that number from? That also, it's depending on the other teams in Nortap. Because uh, I saw that our magic number is nine. 
it's gonna it's gonna be interesting oh but, oh he thinks oh is it did you mean john hot take hockey or john Tavares? because definitely no if you mean Tavares. <laughs> y'all know dude i'm the meme girl do you think i'm rooting for Tavares? what did you say to Jay? <laughs> hopefully the leaves do well in the playoffs should I I should have put all this on a I've been like thinking about doing Twitter spaces with this. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that. If I should just open a Twitter space and like do that live on my phone as well of what we're thinking, but maybe next week. The J I was sus. Tell me about it. Jesus. But yeah, this this last week points we did give up a point to philly hopefully that doesn't give you know bite us in our ass chicago columbus and then nashville that was this was a week we needed wins and we did it so i'm just it was insanely very needed week is the tiebreakers over washington pittsburgh it's eight okay islanders have the tiebreaker over no one yeah no because we have less regulation wins than anyone we literally have less regulation wins than any other team, almost every other team in the Metro. I think the only one we don't have is Columbus. I'm going to eat up those loser points, though. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I'm eating up every single one of them loser points. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I love how much it pisses off Rangers fans online. I love seeing all the posts. The owners have less regulation wins. Meanwhile, they're in third in the Metro. This isn't fair. The NHL has to fix itself. The owners need to be in the Metro. Me, 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 me. Nom, 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 bitch. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it up all day. Oh my god, I start to panic. Okay, we're good. You said, I'm cheering for the Leafs because of fucking the Islanders. Did I? Because of because of fucking the New York Islanders. Because, like, I don't know. I'm I'm New York. We just, that, that, that's English in New York, okay? I sound like Cartman? I sound like Cartman? What? Addy gotta clip that. There is no way I sound like Eric Cartman. What? No, 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 no. I'm actually kind of scared to hear that. I'm actually kind of scared. Addy, you need to clip that. I need the Addy powers. Wow, that's actually kind of scary if I, I really did. That's actually insane. Did, did I? What y'all? I don't know. You guys are killing me right now. When you did the Rangers taunt earlier. Oh, when I was talking like that. Yeah, yeah, that I can see sounding like Eric Cartman when I was talking about the Rangers. Oh my God, did that really? S Honestly, it's that's what they sound like to me. <laughs> it just sounded funny because it was supposed to be talking. I'm more in, I'm in more awe, Matthew. Oh, you know what? So I forgot to clap. You suck. Um, speaking of which, I met Devin Levi today, and we had such a fun- he was so chill, so, like, Sabres fans, I don't know if I have any Sabres fans in this- this chat, but, uh, he is so fucking nice when you meet him, and he was, like, basically, you know, like, in Barclays where they had to sit, like, where the- the exit was? So I took a pic with him, I'll show you guys right here, I got to take, uh, a pic with, uh, Devin, uh, Levi- and he, he legit says to me, I look like I'm in prison. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, Devin. Oh my god, Water King is fun. We could be Metro Champs Tuesday. Melody is proud. Oh, um, I texted Melody uh, about it, actually. I showed Melody and she's like, yo, that's so sick. He's so chill. I was like, yeah, Melody. He's. I was actually telling, talking to Melody about this. Um... Oh my god, Addy, but, um, I was actually talking to Melody about it. Uh, I showed her the picture. She's like, yo, that's sick. Like, I have a sign prepared for when he comes to UBS now. Like, if they bring him back up 
from the AHL and they bring him to the Sabres, I'm going to actually make a sign for him, like straight up. I'm going to go to the Sabre side with the picture enlarged that says, Devin, I'm glad they got you out of prison. (laughs) 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 Hopefully he gets it (laughs) with the picture on it. (laughs) Devin, I'm glad they let you you out of prison. (laughs) But yeah, that was cool. And Ruslan is Hakov. Gotta love is Hakov. And then you see Cole Bardro. He literally leans into the photo, like, like trying to get in it. He Cole Bardro, if you have not been to Bridgeport, he's fucking amazing. Uh, Cole, Cole Bardro is so funny. Um, I was there in 2019 for his first ever NHL goal. That was the uh, penalty shot. Uh, I told him that. I will always remember that for as long as I live. He's like, me too. <laughs> He's, he's great. It was so funny, though. Like, yeah, Rusty. A uh, little kid came up to Rusty and got his signature and things like that. We, they had, like, a little signing today after the game. And the little kid went up to Rusty. He got his signature. And he just ran past Cole Bardreau. And Bardreau goes, one of my job liver. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know if you've heard the uh, Ishakov um, rumors. There has been a lot of Ruslan Ishakov rumors, and that is that this summer he might sign back with um, CSK Moscow, um, and that he might go back to to Russia. That's like a big rumor going about that this summer, like he's done, he wants to go to Russia, and so it's been like all over. People are saying it's confirmed, and like I can tell you guys for a fact, it is not confirmed. Uh, there is no talks, anything. Um, I know somebody, I have a source, um, with his agent, um, and that, you know, there's no, no, no talks yet. If anything, it would be after the AHL season, during the summer, you know, but the, it sounds like he wants to stay with NHL. It sounds like he wants to stay here. Um, there's been nothing confirmed about it. Um, and it's just rumors. It's just conjecture. But it's a lot of rumors, and of course, rumors spread around. And there was people in front of us. <laughs> there was people in front of us. They're like, we love you, Rusty. You're the best. Da, da, da. And Cole Bartrow goes, oh, <laughs> he's like, don't get too, ag- don't be too attached. He's gonna go back to Russia. And Ruslan goes, no, no, no. <laughs> I fucking lost it. I fucking lost it in the line. Come on, Richard, don't don't get too attached. He's going back to Russia. <laughs> Just rust. His face was like, no, no, no. <laughs> He's like, don't spread that. <laughs> I lost it. I fucking lost. They probably ripped so much shit to him about everything. All the rumors spreading around online. <laughs> but yeah. That's just something <laughs> he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, talking about that, Jordan, um, if you guys know, uh, I gave the Mario and Luigi hats to Maggio and um um Ishakov. And um I, I went to Maggio today, he uh Maggio. I went to Rusty today, he signed my hat, and I was like, Thanks for signing my hat this time and we were laughing and he goes and he literally looks at me and goes thanks for the luigi hat by the way and i was like i'm dead (laughs) i'm like he remembers the luigi hat i'm like it's my my pleasure it's my pleasure to give you the luigi hat look oh i did what the fuck what the fuck yo (laughs) what i didn't know what i didn't know i just found something out Kim, I am thankful for these. You're the only reason why I even have a sense of what's happening in the NHL. I got you. Guys, take a drink every time Jordan says he, he's only been focused on MLB and nothing else. Facts, Water King. Jordan will shut up about it. Um, I did not know that happened on YouTube. Can you guys see this? Oh my god. Is there anything else I can do? That's so sick. <laughs> Are you guys see- seeing what I'm seeing with the hearts? That's so... Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Prince Chicken Wings says, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? That is so cool. I did not know that was a thing. 
that actually like kind of scared me. Thumbs up. Oh! I'm learning new things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, that's so cool though. I did not know that was like gonna happen. Sorry, I had to... <laughs> Wait, what about this? Will it register this? No? No. <laughs> Had to try it, right? Facts. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, no, now I know it does that. It's like, I, I, I don't know why it does that. But, uh, yeah. Humans <laughs> figure out YouTube. There's nothing on YouTube that ever said, like, oh, you can do this and the little hearts will come out. Like, no one, no one said that. No one fucking said that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me with that. I had no idea what the hell was going on there. But Baby Islanders, uh, more Maggio is Hakov magic tonight. Uh, we had two goals in eight seconds. Uh, one was from Samuel Aslin. The second came eight seconds later is Hakov. Beautiful, with two men on him, beautiful through pass to find Maggio. Did not even have to look. Found Maggio without looking and Maggio fucking buried it. Like, it's just a snipe like it was just gorgeousness and like it, you can't i will say this now you cannot break those two up you cannot break up maggio and ishakov there is something there you know how we talk about Hor horvat and barzell right i mean you guys know we talk about it all the time uh prince chicken wings just literally said it but we talk about them all the time and if there's a chemistry that matches it, it is Rusty and Maggio. And you know what's funny? They always come come out before warm-ups together. Before they go into the tunnel, they're always together. Like, uh, I think they play soccer with Dufour, William Dufour. Um, but it, it, you know, William Dufour's been doing well as well. Um, Jeffries has been another one. We just signed Alex Jeffries. He's been another prospect that's been looking good. Um, he, he had a goal tonight as well. Um, he's really been doing well. But uh, I, the chemistry of Maggio is Hakov is something that is, you, you know, as a fan. When you, you know, when you see those two players that just click, you know, those two players who just meld together, and that's them. And I would say if I was a scout, to Lou Lamorello or Chris Lamorello, whoever's, you know, asking, I would be like, if you're going to pull one up, you got to pull them both. And they have to play on the same line. They cannot be split. This is, you know, maybe the coach, like, will have to do his own evaluation. But, like, that's a line. I really hope in training camp they see that. Uh, this next training camp, I really hope, is their breakthrough. I hope they make the squad because they need to. I, I, I really do feel it's their time. Can you do us all a favor and keep saying words that rhyme with talk spontane? Oh my god, you guys are obsessed with my accent. Are you guys really obsessed with my accent that much? <sighs> Water King. You know what, I'll do it. I'll do it for a super chat. <laughs> if you super chat, I'll do it. <laughs> now I got you. All you have to do is piss Kim off and you'll hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or if I'm, like, really, really excited. We're back. Okay. My mic wire got pulled out as I was talking. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so when I get excited, so when I was talking about the Barzell Horvat goal, um 
I did not mute the troll. But um, when I was talking about uh, Horvat Barzell, is I heard it come out very thick. So when I'm excited or when I'm very pissed off, uh, it will come out. So um, Christian, you guys are obsessed. But I told you, for a super chat, I will say my accent words if you want. But I, I can't believe you. I, I'm surprised people are so obsessed with that. Nice Rangers one. Who did they beat tonight? I wasn't even looking at who they were playing. Alexa, New York Rangers score? Today, the New York Rangers beat the Montreal Canadiens. 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 Okay. Montreal. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> no. Addy says, sometimes I piss you off in person just to Wait, do you really? Do, does my friend actually do this? <laughs> People are assessing my accent, especially in the office. Uh, yeah, at work, um, they got a kick out of me because I was walking through the hallway. And I went, I need a walker! Does anyone have a walker? And y'all, like, people started coming at me like, Kim, really? I'm like, what? I need, I'm like, do you have a walker? Like, and like, they just could not stop laughing. Um, if any team beats the shit out of the Canes in the first round, I'll love them forever. Hopefully that's the Islanders. Hopefully that's the Islanders. I would, I would love it too, because we need some Canes payback, bitch. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's another word, uh, that's in my repertoire. So, uh, though, Kim, you love Ben's Canadian accent. That is so fucking true. My friend Ben has the best fucking Canadian accent. And I'm going to a concert with him, so I'm excited. <laughs> My Canadian friend is going to meet Pop People. <laughs> 19 days. I gotta get a plane ready. <laughs> what would you want to see? Isles versus Canes or Isles versus Rangers? Um, the last time we placed the Rangers in the playoffs was 1994. Um, and if you know, you know. Um, so, I'll take the Canes. I'll take the Canes. Man, it's just the accents are strong as fuck. Yes, they are. <laughs> Jordan, I like that year. Yeah, shut the fuck. Uh, but I'll take, at this time, any questions, uh, anything regarding Islanders, absolutely just come at me if you have any questions regarding that. Uh, anything else you want to throw at me, just uh, give me any questions that you guys are feeling. Um, I know it's a bit of a delay, so I'll give it some time, but yeah, just keep throwing questions my way. Um, uh, here's the thing I don't trust, I'll to beat anyone in the first round. Wow. Thanks, Water King. Thanks for the, the support. NZA, I'm going to fucking ignore that comment when he's on the first line. So, so do us a favor and have the Islanders versus Frank. What? Wow. Wow, EJ Rico. <laughs> I guess I got another Rangers fan. You think Varley gets game one if we make it? Uh, Christian Scott, if he keeps playing how he's playing and, you know, Sorokin's not being the man, absolutely. I don't see why not. Where are my seats for Tuesday? I don't know yet, Lefty. I'll buy them day of. <laughs> But I usually try to stay in 108, 107. That's where I usually sit. You streaming any more games this year? David, good question. Both of our games um, this week are, are home games, if I remember. Yes. The 13th against the Rangers um, is a 12.30 p.m. game. I'm going to be working that day. The, um, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be able to. The 15th, the Devils. Let me see. I'm gonna be going to that game. Shit. Yeah, I, I I'm not gonna be able to stream. That's actually really depressing to me. Cause uh, work and um, timing, the times of the games are awful. Huge Ranger fan. Got you, EJ. No problem. We have we allow everyone in these chats, man. So you're gonna have fun Tuesday, EJ. I'll try and come to this left seat. No problem. Round one, game one in Carolina. Yes. Hopefully. I'll try and come over to say hi. No problem, lefty. Absolutely. Please. Just uh, tell me. You know, Just tell me your username. Because uh, otherwise I won't know. <laughs> yeah, darkness. I know it's been kind of weird with the, the, West, uh, the Western 
uh, chase. Can't wait for Thursday's game between the Habs and the Isles. The playoff hunt is going to be insane. Facts, Cliff. Sorry, but we need to kick the Montreal's ass. You allow Ranger fans here, says Jordan's. Really? <laughs> what are your thoughts on UBS removing most of the garage from season ticket holders? Um, yeah, that's. I know that's been rough for season ticket holders, and then they're bumping up prices on top of that. I understand a lot of fans not renewing for next year. Um, I always park in Emerald, so it really doesn't affect me, but I can understand completely coming from season ticket holders who are like, but we want to park close. And I know that parking is a bitch when it comes to UBS and a lot of people have trouble walking and it, it's, it is the biggest problem about UBS is parking issues. Um, but I mean, they've had this for the, the shops and nothing's going to stop it. There's nothing that we can do personally. Um, how they fix it, I don't know. I really don't know. Gallagher is going to get booed Thursday. Damn it, CA. You really? You think he's going to get booed? Oof. I like the walk from Emerald. Um, sometimes. Sometimes the walk from Emerald, like, after a win, the walk from Emerald can actually be fun. Um, hello, hockey from home. How are you? Wait, who's the jersey? I can't see... It's, oh, it's an Ovi. It's an Ovechkin. Yes. I saw eight. I just didn't know what team. But yes, the great eight. He's got an Ovechkin. We were talking about earlier today, because that's literally the only reason the Capitals are alive. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. I give your team a full permission to kick my team's ass on Thursday. <laughs> Yo, Cliff. We just became best friends. All right. Uh, thanks, Cliff. It's a signed puck, by the way. Very nice. An Ovi signed puck. You can just call me hockey, by the way. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know, man. We should... Tr we should... Uh, that dirty chicken wing on Pelic should be... Oh, you're right! You know, that's crazy. I forgot about that. The Gallagher hit on Pelic. Oh, my God. You just remind... Oh, he gonna get booed! <laughs> Oh, thank you for reminding me about that. I honestly forgot. Wow. I honestly forgot about that hit. Let's fuck him up. Hockey says I got it for my birthday two years ago. Pretty kick ass. Of all the teams that have clinched, who do you least and most want to win the Stanley Cup in 2024? Ooh, so... I do have a little bit of bias when it comes to this uh, because my best friend is an Avalanche fan. Um, so, I mean, from the clinchers, um, the least is Rangers. That comes without even a second thought. The most to win, though, for me is, is Colorado. Yes, I know they recently just won, but they have Zach Parisi, ex-New York Islander. I, want to, I wish him the absolute best. So if there has to be a team, I will root for the avalanche um via my best friend and um because of zach parisi so um that's my least and most wants to win i don't like josh i can see you don't like colorado <laughs> as long as you let suzuki and slavkovsky get a point you can beat us <laughs> why why them why specifically them i mean suzuki i can understand but why slavkovsky <laughs> Yo, but yeah, uh, I, ho I hope Martin comes for Gallagher, no offense, but yeah, because I mean, <sighs> Gallagher did seem remorseful and I think, I mean, five games was like a little soft in my opinion, but yeah, EJ, <laughs> totally. Only reason I have Colorado winning is because of the online fans. <laughs> yeah. I, it's just, it's up in the air, but I mean... Colorado, at t the, the problem with Colorado for me is goaltending. Like, ugh, Georgia, man. Ranger fans, you know. You know, Ranger fans. You can step up. You can talk about it. But yeah, like he, he I don't know. I, I, I worry most about their goaltending. That's the only problem with Colorado with me. But otherwise, they're just a f juggernaut of a team, man. Plus, the 
the things they'll say about McKinnon compared to Kucherov will be egregious. Uh, Georgie is good with consistent starts, so you never know, to be honest. He's, yeah, it's consistency again. We talk about that word, the C's. Consistency and confidence. Absolutely. It, it's, it comes down to those two things. I mean, and Georgiev has, like, some of the best defense in front of him with, like, stars like Mikhail Makar. So, it's, it's just coming, like, to that. Who's gonna win the heart? I'm so bad at <laughs> guessing that shit. I will say one person, and it's not. Like, I, I'm so bad at guessing You think Cooch? Could be Cooch. Makar is not be doing well defensively according to statistics. So he's, I can see that. He's he's very much a great offensive defenseman, but he does fail to get back sometimes. Who should be in the playoff lineup, Aho or Bortuzzo? Mm, I like that question. Both have made me. On edge. I say you can... They're very interchangeable. I actually... I'm going to be honest. I didn't like Bortuzzo in the lineup against Nashville. I wanted Ajo. And it's... So, Bortuzzo, I feel like you put in if you need physicality. Ajo, you put in if you need speed. Honestly, on the shit scale, I feel like they're pretty even. I mean, Bortuzzo falls too. So, I mean, they, they both got that going for them. Uh, but... um. I would say, like, it depends on what you're looking for for against your lineup. Who, What are you looking for more? Are you looking for speed or are you looking for physicality? Because when it comes to Portuzo, you know he's going to be in the back end giving big, big checks. Um, while Ajo is just going to be like, Wee! you know, he's going to fall. Um, <laughs> so it's, I guess it depends what you're looking for. Uh, if anything, if we're talking Carolina, it's, it's tough. But we, we just have to wash up blue line very, very harshly. And Bortuzzo did a big egregious fuck up the other night against Nashville, giving the puck away right in front of Varlamov. Very lucky that we didn't get scored on there. Um, uh, Prince Chikawin says that he feels Bortuzzo takes a lot of pennies, penalties while Ajo draws them. Um, Very true. Ajo has taken his good share of penalties, but I feel like that's more true as well. Um, I don't know. Both of them are very interchangeable for me. That's a very good question. Hey, Andrew. Who's... Oh, my God. Why are we talking about trophies before freaking playoffs? <laughs> Who's contributed in the goals? Really wanted to see another Flames vs. Oilers series, but NHL wants to F us. Me, so far, we can't any... We can't any fun. We can't have any fun. <laughs> Flames versus Oilers would be lit. <laughs> What's the Snapple fact of the night? Andrew! <laughs> it's that Tennessee's official... Um, I do have a Snapple. Uh, Tennessee's official um, animal is a raccoon. So Josh, I hope you learned something. But uh, Josh, I hopefully you heard that Snapple fact that Tennessee's official animal is a raccoon. I kind of want to check. Alexa, what is the official animal of Tennessee? The animal of oh, it's right! The raccoon is a curious and playful animal with a diverse diet that includes insects, fish, and mammals. It is known for its intelligence and ability to problem solve, making it a symbol of intelligence and adaptability in Tennessee's state animal. They're like the dumbest creatures I've ever seen. What intelligence? <laughs> Lefty, I don't know about... I don't know. Maybe. He, I mean, Rempy's always just looking for a goddamn fight, so most likely... Uh, it's, I mean, that's all Rempy does. <laughs> it's all he's good for. He's like, he's just basically another enforcer. And uh, talking to my friends in the AHL, that's all he did there either. So, Scotland's animal's a unicorn? That's awesome. Now I'm curious. Alexa, what is New York State's animal? Curious. New York state bird is eastern bluebird, its state fish is striped bass, and its state mammal is a beaver. <laughs> We're the beavers! <laughs> Schnacky schmorsch, prevent. <laughs> every time I think of a beaver, I think Schnacky schmorsch from South Park. <laughs> Eat Schnacky schmorsch. <laughs> why, why are we beaver? <laughs> why are we... Oh, man. He's good 
at screening. Well, no shit. He's like 6'6". Six, six. How tall is Rempy? Like 6'6", six, 6'7"? Six, six, no kidding. He's good at screening. All he has to do is stand. <laughs> how, how tall is he? I'm, I'm, I'm curious now. 6'8"? Oh my god. He's almost Char size. Uh, Rempy height. 6'7". <laughs> You're wrong. 6-7. Matt Rempe is 6-7. Oh my god. Uh, David came in. 6-7. He's right. Sorry, Edstrom is 6-8. Yeah. Still no one beating my boy Char. Zaki. <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's cool. Any more questions before I wrap up, guys? But yeah, that's that's crazy. I remember so I saw a clip of Rempy in front of a goaltender, and I was like, God damn. <laughs> so that's going to be a big thing for our defense coming up Tuesday, is to get him out of the way. If there's anyone who I trust on defense to do it, it would be like a Bortuzzo, or it would be a Romanov. Am I pumped for my Islanders? Of course I am. Uh, I'm glad to see Romanov doing well on Long Island. On Long Island, Cliff! On Long Island! <laughs> he was one of my favorite Habs players. Aw. Cliff, we have been taking care of him. I love Romanov. He's my boy. So, yes, we are taking care of Cliff, I have something for you. So, stay, stay tuned. But he's our Chara. Yes, he is definitely your Chara. Uh, I screened the Devil's Goalie for... Maybe that was it. Are you concerned now for a snafu will launch a class X lawsuit against you? <laughs> um, okay. This is for Cliff. Because this just happened to me the other night and I was like over the fucking moon. Some people know what I'm talking about. I'll cut my face out because I'm gross. But Romy! <laughs> Romy! I got to meet Romy! Here, I'll put, I'll put the actual picture of me like in it. But yeah. I got to meet Romy! And it was awesome. And I got I got I got a puck signed. But he signed my Romanov jersey. I have a Romanov jersey. He signed it. And I got to meet Romy after that game. So when you I, I said to you guys I told Romy to go after like Rempy, like give him a nice like big hip check. I have proof. <laughs> you didn't tell me you met Romanov? Oops. Yeah. I, <laughs> I met him again. That's the third time I've met Romanov. That is the yeah. That's the third time I met Romy. Was from was was he laid back in front of me? Oh, absolutely. Fuck. He's like a little teddy bear. Romanov is like the cutest little teddy bear. I went up to him and I was just like, Romanov, we fucking love you, man. You, you, I'm so glad we traded for you. You belong here on Long Island. Like you're the goat. And he he just was he was signing my puck and like giggling. He's like he he and he goes, oh thank you. <laughs> He's so freaking adorable. He just was like giggling. He's like he he he, and he goes, oh thank you. <laughs> Like, I can't. Like, I can't. I absolutely can't. It just made me so happy. He's just like, I'm going, like, hardcore. Like, Romy, we love you. And he's just like, hee, hee. <laughs> Bro, I... You guys know I love Romy. Uh, if you, like, if someone did a super chat, you would see I love Romy, but... <laughs> I'm taking Sebastian Ajo to Romy. <laughs> Sebastian Ajo would just go like through his legs. <laughs> oh. oh, Sunshine, you have to, you have to, you're gonna have to meet him before he takes Kim away from you. He's married with a child. Uh, right after Isles fan for life. Right after. Romanov is such a good guy. Facts, Rocky. Facts. Uh, I saw him once in Montreal, and he had a big smile looking at all the fans. When he first came to the island, he had very minimal English. Romanov has a child? Yes. He has a baby. Um, I think a one-year-old now, but... Um, Romanov's married and has a child. Uh, but he had very minimal English, and he, like, stuck to uh, Sorokin like glue. <laughs> and it, all he would say... All he said was, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> now he speaks such good English. He's doing interviews. I remember seeing the first like Romana post game interview, and I was like, I was like, oh my god, wait, he did an interview. He did such a fantastic job with it. He no, his English is so much better. So I'm really, really happy for Romy, and like, he's doing really well, and like he he could understand and respond. He can understand and respond now. Um, so I'm I'm like really happy for him and. Oh, did he delete his Instagram? He might have deleted his Instagram, honestly. Yeah, he's he, but he has like a little baby. Alex from family. Let's see if I can get a picture of the family. Oh God, I'm getting some family from like <laughs> the 1800s. I want to see if they have like, cause they had a picture from um. The family skate at the outdoor game where it's a him and his wife and his uh, little baby. It was from the outdoor skate. Alex Romano. Outdoor skate. Let's see if I can get a picture from that. From the uh, stadium series. Ah, I can't fucking find it. The Romano royal family. Yeah, facts. That's what it literally came up. Stadium series. I'm trying so hard to find this photo of, that they took at the stadium series. Oh my god. Hold on, I'll get there. There's an article. Oh, it's like a little video. interview oh he's so happy he's doing an interview like i said he's just like uh-huh wow he did a full interview holy shit he actually did a full interview holy shit copyright eh you can't see it who is the friendliest NHL player I have ever met? Water King? That's hard to say because I have met so many wonderful NHL. Devin Levi being one of them. Maggio being one. Even though he's not NHL, he will be. Just, uh, fucking Rusty. Um, Sezikis. Sezikis, Matt Martin, Clutterbuck. That fourth line. All of them are just the best guys. Um, R Romy. Sorokin like they, I never really truly had a bad experience with an NHL player if to say, none of the guys I have never had a bad experience with any of the guys on this team at all oh and that, that goes for opposing teams too I I've never had a bad um thing with anybody uh you know, uh, that's really great. Uh, if you have had with a uh, for a player, EJ says Leonard. Oh, if he's the nicest, I mean, I, if you're gonna talk about the nicest thing a player has ever done for me, yeah, that guy. The nicest thing any player has ever said or done for me, it's Leonard without a doubt. But if you're talking about just like nice players in general, there's not. I've never had a bad experience with a player. Ever. And I'm, I'm really glad about that. Yeah, Water King. I, he's not an NHL player yet, but he gonna be. Maggio and Rusty are gonna be NHL players. So, Alright, but that's my hour. Guys, I'm cutting it because I got work in the morning, but I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming through for no episode number 126. Holy crap. That's a lot of episodes. But guys, I love you guys so much. Hopefully we'll get some good Islanders news at the end of this week. And we can talk uh, a little bit about going into the last two games in the season. Oh my god, guys. Two games left after this week. That's fucking nuts.
you know, we've been doing this all season long. You guys have stuck with me even when I've gotten sick and haven't been able to do episodes. You guys have stuck with me or if I needed because of work days, you guys have been awesome. Um, but I really appreciate you guys coming through. Um, and I know with work, I can't do as much as I used to do, but I I'm going to try to make an edit this week for the New York Islanders. Um, going to try to get it done. Um, so it's, it's, it's just going to be tough just because of work scheduling and because of games, but uh, hopefully I'm able to get like a little bit done here and there and, uh, we'll see what happens, but I love you guys. As we end every single episode, guys, I want you to put in chat your favorite team. Let's go Islanders. Let's go Rangers. Let's go Devils. Let's go Nashville Predators. Let's go Montreal Canadiens. Let's go San Jose Sharks. Whatever your team is, put it in the chat because your team would not be who they are without your love, dedication, and passion for your franchise. Guys, I love you guys. I love seeing all the names in the chat. Love your teams with all of your heart. Give me the hearts. There they are. Uh, remember to give a thumbs up at the end of this video. Um, and just guys, thank you so much for everything as always. I will see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Let's go Islanders! <laughs>